only thing that is necessary to pass a clean bill paying the salaries of every man and woman in the Coast Guard is for the Democratic senators to withdraw their objection. Is that correct? That's correct. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Colorado. Madam President, I seldom, um, as you know, uh, rise on this floor to contradict somebody on the other side. I've worked very hard over the years to work in a bipartisan way with the presiding officer, with my Republican colleagues. But these crocodile tears that the senator from Texas is crying for first responders are too hard for me to take. They're too hard for me to take. Because when, you sh when the senator from Texas shut this government down in 2013, my state was flooded. It was underwater. People were killed. People's houses were destroyed. Their small businesses were ruined forever. And because of the senator from Texas, this government was shut down for politics. Then he surfed to a second place finish in the Iowa caucuses. But we're of no help. to the first responders, to the teachers, to the students whose schools were closed with a federal government that was shut down because of the junior senator from Texas. Now, it's his business, not my business, why he supports a president who wants to erect a medieval barrier on the border of Texas, who wants to use eminent domain to build that wall, who wants to declare an unconstitutional emergency to build that wall? That's the business of the senator from Texas. I can assure you that in Colorado, if a president said he was going to use eminent domain to erect a barrier across the state of Colorado, across the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, he was going to steal the property of our farmers and ranchers to build his medieval wall, there wouldn't be an elected leader from our state that would support that idea. Which goes to my final point, how ludicrous it is that this government is shut down over a promise the President of the United States couldn't keep. And that America is not interested in having him keep. This idea that he was going to build a medieval wall across the southern border of Texas, take it from the farmers and ranchers that were there, and have the Mexicans pay for it, isn't true. That's why we're here. That was Michael Bennett, the Democratic senator from Colorado, showing his exasperation with Ted Cruz after he and Republicans demanded that Democrats withdraw their objections to Trump and fund the border wall that the vast majority of this country does not want. Cruz, of course, was among the principal architects of the 2013 shutdown, which he used to bolster his brand before an unsuccessful run for the presidency. He famously took the floor for a 21-hour filibuster where he took his own advice of putting politics aside, sharing this poignant speech. And I love this story, and so I'm going to read it to you. Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. Would you like them here or there? I do not like them with a mouse. Not in a box, not with a fox. In a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. And while the government remained shut down, Colorado was hit by a historic flood, killing 10 and causing nearly $4 billion in damage across the state. It's still the most expensive natural disaster in Colorado history. And Cruz has a history of disdain for the citizens of other states. After Sandy, one of the costliest hurricanes in US history, decimated the Northeast in 2012, Cruz voted against an aid package for the people of New York and New Jersey. But when Hurricane Harvey hit Texas, well, I'm sure you can imagine how he suddenly felt about aid packages for disaster relief. So Cruz might think that either Americans have the memory of a goldfish or he might know that we don't and is fine with his glaring double standard. But when he says that we should just go on, put politics aside, he should fully expect a public routing like the one he just got.